everybody. I'm Matt, and this, welcome back to Mid Ten Geek. Uh, it's been a little bit since I've done a video. Um, past month has been kind of crazy. Uh, as you can tell, my voice is not great. Um, first of October, or sorry, end of October, first of November, uh, got bronchitis, and fortunately, bronchitis can last up to eight weeks. So I'm still dealing with that. So if I start to go into cough and fit, you'll see me kind of pause the video for a second and try to grab me some water. But <clears throat> Uh, on top of that, I had some family things going on. As you can see, I've kind of got a different angle on my office because my office floor actually had to be completely redone because it's a slab pavement and uh, it wasn't exactly right. And was busting up my, my flooring because it wasn't right, it wasn't level. So the uh, builder finally had time to come out here and get it all fixed up. And so we were out of, out of this room for two and a half weeks while he did the process of getting it all straightened out. But we're back in and I did my desk a little differently this time. So you got a better view of my figures. And these are again all my sign figures. So I probably display those and try to sneak some more stuff in here as the, the missus will allow me. Um, <clears throat> but again, I uh, didn't have really a lot to do this in the last month. Of course, Thanksgiving. Hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. Uh, I've been sick with bronchitis. On top of that, I got sinus issues going on. So it's been a rough month. Uh, and family member passed away um actually a close I, i've talked about before my best friend that passed away last year his father ended up uh, suddenly passing away from a heart attack uh, last week so uh just uh if, if you pray keep that family in your prayers i, I mean you don't have to know the name just to you know ask for uplifting to them because uh there's no more males in that family now because they've all but through covid or whatever strange reasons they've all kind of got killed off the last few years so so let's keep that family in your prayers, uh, especially the mother. She's a, you know, she screwed me one of her sons, so it was, it was pretty hard touching to be there with her. Um, but anyway, the reason I'm getting on today is something came in the mail. And if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, uh, if you're on the What's What's Your Geek Facebook book group that I kind of post, but I uh, don't have a lot of field for, um, you know, I got something in today. And I came in a month early, so I wanted to. Finally got time to jump in uh, while the kiddos finally laid down. And uh, I want to go ahead and unbox it because with these uh, non-see-through packaging, I want you want to check it out make sure everything's okay like I've done with all my other figures. So what came in today? Did you follow me on Facebook? Do you feel me on Instagram? You should know. But if you don't, follow me. Check me out. Hit me up. The Green Goblin from Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh, very cool piece. I'll try to do, get some in here. I don't, don't have the best lighting, unfortunately. So, uh, it's just kind of part of the deal. But it comes with the glider. And you see on the back. Comes with a glider stand. And the glider moves, if you can see here. kind of goes up and down, which they showed that when they premiered this on Hasbro. Uh, you can, of course, you get the... Green Goblin original mask, the hood, and looks like, yeah, the, the goggles that kind of like you see here, the goggles. And of course, you got his greenish face of William Defoe that no one else can really do this ju justice for that figure. Um, good side art, uh, just more of the same with the front. And on this other side, more of uh, its actual figure. Uh, Looks like an actual picture of the figure, not an actual, not art. But again, I apologize. I don't have the best lighting in this room. Uh, hopefully someday I'll get a better setup. But, but yeah, I wanted to check it out. Of course, Spider-Man logo on the top. Uh, because, you know, I, previous video, I do have the three-pack from of the Spider-Man that came out. And sh here for too long, uh, the ones with the civilian heads that they were coming out, they, they should be coming out soon. I don't know. If, notification from GameStop that should be coming out soon uh, and this came out a month early this is not supposed to come out until January sometime so like I've said in previous videos don't count on Hasbro keeping their dates it's a lot of times earlier uh, so far the only thing I haven't seen come out earlier from Hasbro is the White Ranger helmet um, but strangely enough um, uh, the um, Big Bad Toy Store is already Released those out and got them out to, to people. So let's open the box up. All right, 
so I, someday I hope to have a little better setup to do these unboxing, unboxing. But for now, this is what we'll have. Um, I, all I did was cut the tape. I've not done anything yet, so this will be a live reaction with me. Normally, I would not unbox this, but again, anything that's not with this plastic-free stuff, I don't trust. I want to make sure everything's in here. Now see, I love it. Don't get me wrong, I love it. But why could you not open this up, open this up on the front, and have it plastic free? I mean, you could have easily had this box window open and displayed it like this. I mean, you've already you're already using plastic to keep it in the box, and this has was plastic free. Everything else that I've ever had, it's been cardboard to keep it all in. But this is actually in plastic. So why not go ahead and make the box clear and have this? This would be so much cooler to see. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm grateful it's in plastic. But how much better would that been had that box been open to see it like this? I don't know, just a rant, but... I was kind of surprised to see this. I mean, again, this is my reaction video. I was really surprised to see it in plastic. So we look, we got the goblin head hood. I guess these are, yeah, you put those on to this to keep them in place because you can actually fly. And got a bomb here. Okay. You got your stand right here. Oh, just stuck him out. I mean, come on now. You can't tell me. Put a slice in that box and have it look like this. That would look so much better. I mean, as great as this art is on this box, you're already doing plastic. Make a window. Anyway, done with that ramp. Because I'm curious what they're going to do with the Otto Octavius one. Because it's supposed to come out in February. So maybe it'll come out next month. So let's take them out. Let's check out the platter. Because that is... This is actually a little bit more expensive than the Doc Ock is. Because... And I'm pretty sure it's just because of the detail of the glider. Let's see here. Of course it does go up and down. Like it just says it would. It's a little... Make sounds. Let's see. Of course, got missiles. Of course, your stand will go here. You can see the green. Okay, there's green on the back. So, yeah, very detailed. And this, I don't know if you can really see it, but this has a texture to it. And you can feel it too. You, I think you can kind of see it. Yeah, you can here, and I mean, you can, f that's not paint, that's, that's the way it actually feels, it's textured. Of course, you got the things on the front that he kills himself with in the first movie. If you never watched it, sorry, should have watched it, it's been 20 years, I think, something like that. But yeah, let's get a little stand out here. on there? Maybe. I'm going to break it. So I feel like I'm going to break it if I force it. Anyway. Oh. Whoops. Anyway. We'll move on from that. Some of the things are going to break the country. Maybe with the little voice a little bit. 
I don't know if you can see it on this video, but you can see it in person. Just like the real mask, it's kind of got a scream to it in the mouthpiece on the black part. Because so if you watch the movie really well, you can see his William Defoe's mouth moving behind the teeth because it's just like uh, fabric, black fabric. Had you not been so careless, your little girlfriend would have died painlessly, but now she really take me off. I'm going to finish her nice and slow. Anyway. Put that back. And yeah, these are just taking here to the right here. Right here on these things to strap them in. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to do that another time, but because it's kind of late. But let's see if I can get it out. He's got to be bigger than six inches. He's, I mean, he feels pretty, pretty solid. Okay, you got your spikes, which came in a little bent, but that's okay. Got your bomb pack. Let's see. Let's check him out here. Just all the little details that you get. Very nice figure. Of course, some of this stuff was added as part of the, the movie. So if you're comparing it to Spider-Man 1 with Tobey Maguire, it's not going to be exactly the same. This is, is based off the No Way Home version. So, Okay, try to take these things off. There we go. I mean, they just really capture that devilish smile Willem Dafoe has for that character. I mean, that that's a great face sculpt. I mean, that looks so identical to him. I mean, you couldn't ask for no better. Like, even down to the small teeth gap that he has. See, I don't think this comes off. It doesn't appear so... But yeah, we'll try. I mean, it's detailed down to the chest piece, and this comes all the way around. So yeah. But I mean, guys, look. I mean, that's a really good likeness. I mean, it has a really good will on this one. So I'm curious what the how the Doc Ock will look. Yeah, my God, I'm gonna do it one time. Well, there we go. It's a little tough to put on, but we got him. So yeah, there we go. Um, only thing I could really grab about it, using this position, of course, you can see the, the color of the neck. I think they should have did something in addition to, to this helmet. Maybe have like a piece for the neck to go down around. Um, sort of like with this, but I don't know, maybe you're meant to wear it with this, but to kind of cover the neck. But, I mean, just having a, something to go around for the neck part with the green to, to really match the suit. But other than that, uh, overall, guys, I'm really happy with this figure. I mean, it's really solid, really heavy. It may be six inches, but it looks bigger. I mean, down to the level of detail in the boot. I mean, and just the face sculpt of William Defoe, I'm still blown away by it. I mean, look at that. I mean, solid. But yeah, all right guys, uh, I may try to play around this another time and do some more, but for now that's my primary uh, opening the box and looking at it and there we go, Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh, we'll wait for the Doc Ock Deluxe version to come out and when it gets here, we'll do something with it too. Um, and I may do something with the new Spider-Man, which I don't know, I may keep those in the box, so I may just show them off real quick, but all right, there we go. Uh, Alright everybody, that was my unboxing of the Green Goblin from Spider-Man No Way Home. Um, I really like it. I really do. Um, and just the head sculpt alone of Willem Dafoe is, it's great. Um, I like to play with this glider a little bit because I really feel like I was going to bend this and break this thing trying to put it on there. Uh, but we'll check it out. We'll play with it a little bit. Alright guys, well, we'll wait till the next one comes out and we'll do something there. Uh, if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. 
Uh, leave a comment. I welcome comments. Uh, like, I only want five stars. Just kidding. Uh, but yeah, I like it. Uh, like the video. Let me know what other videos you might like to see. And uh, if you're not following, uh, get us on the What's Your Geek Facebook page. Uh, I am on Instagram and Facebook under Mid Ten Geek. You can find me there. Reach out to me. Uh, don't mind a bit to talk. Um, other than that, have a good one.